Uh, we can't go to hearts at the end. Or no one else can, I mean. What is Jake doing? They're discussing it. Well, I'll have to stay out then. Yeah, if I box, I'm... why is everyone boxing though? I don't get this. Indeed we will. We Alvaro, Jake, all these guys into the pit lane. The Mercedes double stack means that Jan Ortmeier unfortunately can't come into the pit lane and that is going to put the Dutchman on the back foot. What is your ass? No way. Why not try and help me, man? Why is this not being discussed? They keep Brendan out on purpose, so Thomas can box, and we are just not doing anything. It's fucking me over. The softer at that stage again, where they started to die off, as we can see. Ishmael Fassel make a move ahead of me, along with Alfie Butcher as well, at the inside of Yano into turn one. They go, and also Whoa. it's going to be Yossi still looking for a move ahead. They go three Jesus. wide, a bit of contact. Thanks guys, thanks for the teamwork. Thank you so much. It's the same in PSL Finale Abu Dhabi. It's just no teamwork. Well, why? I understand, I understand if it's like no point in the championship, but you guys completely fucked me here. Well, Sorry, Alphas, man. Yeah, but well, Alphas working together. We're not working together, but you get the point. Yeah, I do agree. I don't have comms on Jake's side at the minute. Do you want me to drag him in? There's no point anymore. The my race is over anyway. Dylan. Oh, but it's not even. It's not Jake's job. Right? Like, I don't yeah, I know. I, I have no comms on that side of the, the garage at all. There's no point racing. Jan Ortmeier is up the inside of Dylan Warren heading in towards turn at number uh, one. And it seems like Jano, he's lost a number of places in this Grand Prix. I never rage quit, but I'm so close now, honestly. I I'm so pissed with what you guys did. This Alpha and the Wall RAG team is so clear when it comes down to teamwork. We never ever do anything. I mean, we're like, what, five seconds of the lead? If a miracle happens, we can still win this. Got a three lap tire advantage to Tom in P6. Uh, Jake's still comless. Do you want me to drag him in? What do you mean comless? There, John and Alex are in there. No one else here, just me. Right. Yeah, I mean, might as well drag him in. Got up here into P7 ahead of both Ulash and Tamish into one corner. Brilliant move there. Problem the Flying Dutch. Remember, he can try and get himself fighting for that podium again. He's got a 1.8 second gap to Tom Manley, who's obviously got no DRS. I wonder if you're on a what, mate? Is there an outside chance of him maybe fighting for the win at the end of this Grand Prix? I'm very hopeful for the Flying Dutchman. I think he's been very hard done by in this Grand Prix. But he's got the freshest tyres out of anyone in the top 10 at the minute. Barring Rube Pedreño, they're equal on pace. And if Jano is able to get up to the pack, maybe he's uh, he could be the one to take the fight to them. Hey, Jack, if you can hold those guys up, could help us. I, um... Yeah. Are you even making it to the end? Huh? Are you making it to the end? Um, maybe. I shouldn't. Jake Benham is really just holding him up here. Wow, doing his best job just to park the bus and allow for Tom Manley and guess who? Yana Watmir to potentially catch up Nathan.
Look at that gap, it's come down to 2.4 seconds as they're heading towards the stadium section. The gap's just constantly coming down and down and down. Now, if he wants that DRS, of course. So, he doesn't want to make the move there. As you can see, Ron Hart up the inside of Ishmael Fassi. Oh, he's God. got oh, and they're all there. Are chicken, I think Jake broke a little bit too hard. They're going 3 1 oh. into the bottom corner. And Jake's right. Oh, dear me. Jake got caught into contact with Alfie Butcher and himself. And they're all now going 3 1 at the final corner. Back down towards turn one. It's over ahead of Alfie. Thomas and Ishmael Fassi here. Oh, and a bit my of contact on the stray. Oh, Thomas Ronhart looking to go through on Alfie Butcher, heading down and towards turn number one. Tom Manley and Jan Ortmeier arriving onto the scene in towards the break zone at the first corner. Ishmael Fassi going to stay in behind for the time being. Look who's in the top five. Jano Otmir has made his way into the potential fight for the win. Yeah, okay. Well, I did my best. Yeah, that was beautiful. My goat. Mare mia, Fidio. Estoy viendo. No me lo creo. Es brutal, loco. ¿Qué hace? Hostia, vaya tortuga, me ha pegado. Ya está, ya ha ganado ya. Tengo roto. Tengo roto, tío. Encima es. Joder, tío. Joder, tío. Es que no, no, tío, no. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué soy yo, tío? Es que es brutal, tío. ¿Por qué haces eso? Es el man. I can't do shit that well, though. What are you... Oh my god, these guys. Oh my... I'm getting literally hit everywhere, man. Hey, I thought he was letting me go, and then he, t and then he just turns right. Like, come on, man. Well, now Yana's, uh, now Yana's gonna win, like... Of course, always. Moraine, Yona Watmere getting in on Ishmael. Fassi goes to the outside line. Ishmael defends it. Yona goes deep. But a wow. contact with Ishmael and Alfie as they head through. Can Yona get that move for done for people? I think he can. Yes, he does. Yona oh. Watmere now into people. Brilliant there from the Flying Dutchman oh, now. That... On fire. We've got Ron Hines to lead, Dalfi Butch looking to take second away from Alvaro Carlton. So Alvaro now down to P3 in this race. Honestly, he defends it. He does go around the outside into turn one, has the inside at turn two. Back to the outside for turn three. Slight bit of Yano. Back in the low. Yano. Oh, he wow! Yano Otmir through on two drivers into one corner. Possibly he does get it. Yano Otmir into P2 in this race. And now we can stop sitting trying to make moves. And no, they can't. Yano Otmir now with Thomas Ron Hard, the two rivals fighting for P1 and P2. Gracias. Ahí para rayar, ¿no? Es que, es que... No tiene luces, tío, te lo juro. Look, now you just give Yano the win. Like, simple as that, man. Every time. Just give space. It's not hard.
don't understand these people sometimes. After having a big spell of bad luck, double stacking behind his teammate was not the option. And there, oh my word, Ooh. Thomas Rana sandbagging Alfie Butcher around the outside of them both. And Alfie Butcher, all of a sudden, Nathan, into the lead of this race. What have we just witnessed? Thomas Rana are trying to sandbag, allow for Jan Ortmir to go through. And they both, both of them, have paid the price. Here comes Alfie Butcher leading the way on towards lap number 36. Thomas Rana and Jan Ortmir doing battle, heading in towards turn at number one. This is when you've got to deploy it all on the final lap of the Grand Prix. Thomas Ronner to the lead of this race. Jan Ormir following on through but Thomas Ronner taking P1 and Jan Ormir sitting behind in second. Indeed, and because we could see there now Jano going to have to try and close him, but Thomas has DRS centre turn four, so we'll still see a battle. And he's, he's got a little bit wide. This is allowing Jano here to get into the outside. He goes, will it be Jano? Will it be Thomas? He has to lead in towards turn four. Thomas breaks later. Has it inside line, but he goes deep. He goes very wow. deep. That left shot to go right in the outside. Contact, Whoa. contact between the two. And they go ghost as they head in towards turn six. I think Jano's got it here. Jano Omir leading the way on the final lap of this race. Thomas Ronner falling at the final hurdle. He played the tactics. To, his perf to perfection, but it hasn't worked out, unfortunately. And Jarno Otmir, undeniable from the very beginning, on pole in the wet. He's faced adversity throughout this entire Grand Prix with a good with a good deal of luck from his teammate Jake Benham doing a fantastic job defending. Jarno Otmir, your championship leader, the confetti, the fireworks all over, littering the circuit through the peril tarder for the final time. Thomas Ronhar can do no more. Yardo Otmir, two weeks in a row, will take victory here in PSGL. What a race from the Flying Dutchman. Tom 64 exit. Alpi 30 on the line. No idea what happened there, but... Just turn in on me, what is he doing, man? Oh my god, man! Well, good we didn't rage quit. Yeah. Nice career end. Good job. Go, well, Jake. So, uh, yeah. So why did he not have an engineer? I'm so confused. I'll, uh, I'll message. Uh, it's, there's no way that was ever going to work for him anyway. The safety car comes out. Jake gets the pit. What was going through your head at that point? Yeah, as you can imagine, I was fuming. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Thomas and Brendan played a, played a smart team game as well with Thomas boxing, Brendan staying out. Uh, we didn't do that, but um, yeah, then once Jake uh, realized he wasn't making it to the end, he played the ultimate team game as well. So 
yeah, um, without Jake, I would have not won uh, in the end, for sure. No doubt about it. Uh, I would have maybe finished P4, P3, which, honestly, I would have been happy with as well. Let's talk about lap number 35. Uh, we saw in that final sector... Uh, there was a Sauber car that stopped right in front of you. You didn't choose to go through, and Alfie Butcher ended up taking the lead. Heading onto that final lap, what was the game plan from you there? Um, yeah, I just wanted to have the arrest, to be honest. Uh, I knew I had fresher tires, of course, but the DRS is so strong. It's a double detection, so you don't get DRS on, on the second straight as well if you're not behind someone. Um, and yeah, Alfie... Um, yeah, decided to take the risk. Um, someone at some point had to go through, of course. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of DRS chicken. Um, but so yeah, in the end, somehow everything stayed clean, which was a miracle as well. Um, considering we were all playing DRS chicken and uh, moving around. So uh, somehow uh, it kept clean going into that uh, last DRS one. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was, it was good fun, for sure. Yes, I went wide with point of contact. Uh, Jana did not leave me enough space to uh, get on the Obviously, I go deep within the track. I start turning in. And by this point, this is where the contact happens. So, if you look at how the car goes, it's literally... It's, it's just about not enough. It's, it's, it's barely, but it was enough. As you can see, Jana turned away from the, the apex there. And he's still barely, well, he's not able to give me full gas, but it's because I'm still sort of on the grass. But like I said, I got turning on, in my opinion. You can have a different opinion, obviously, but might be the heat of the moment. But yeah, I will look into uh, into it later. I'll, I'm not going to bother today. He, he was on track, so fair play, even with the shit strike he had. Just unfortunate that this so it's ending. I'm gonna play it in full again. Like I said, I don't have chat open at the moment. You can quite clearly see when I'm turning in, he just yeah. And uh, he also gave me damage after that, so wasn't much, but. It was like 9% of the earth from my engineer. As you can see, I'm on this year and like crazy, yeah. We went from no team game to extreme team game.